My name is Mike Lawton. I am the founder and CEO of Oxford Space Systems, and we are designing and developing next generation deployable structures for space using conventional as well as new and novel materials. What's unique about our products is we're using some new and innovative materials, things like stored energy composites, in combination with actuators and motors to uh, design and develop some very quite large deployable structures for the space industry. So the reason we chose Maxon products is we can get near flight grade motors in a very quick uh, period of time, as short as 14 days, which means we can be very confident that the technology we're buying is pretty close to what we will eventually fly with very minor modification, which means we can be very confident in the performance of our designs. So one of the products we are developing is a telescopic boom system, which is using two Maxon motors, one to drive, one for redundancy. And this is a very scalable piece of technology that will be used to position payloads away from the side of the spacecraft, up to four, even six meters away. So for the, the boom uh, design, uh, the idea was to have a, a boom that is um, that can be contained in a very small uh, volume when it's uh, stored. Um, it also uh, needs to be very light and to extend as long as possible. So that's a boom for CubeSats uh, in order to be able to put some, uh, some sensors at the end. Product support for us is absolutely critical. We need to convince ourselves we really understand all the key components going into our designs because we need to convince our end customers that we fully understand every single component in our design. So that means our suppliers need to demonstrate to us that they really understand the product they're designing. So it's about product design knowledge and field support for that product is critical for us as well. We like using uh, Maxon motors because uh, they have some heritage. Um, they are off-the-shelf products that can only need a very small uh, mo amount of modification to be space compatible, so that's very rare. The future for OSS looks uh, very exciting. We're just starting off on a very, very long journey with the government enthusiasm to grow the UK space industry. That means we need more and more satellites. More and more satellites means more and more deployable structures. So we'll be designing quite a large range of uh, actuated uh, systems which all require a large portfolio of actuation means, which includes DC motors.